YouTube, Ray here, and today I have an unboxing video that I've been excited about for a very long time. Last year, Sailor Moon Gachapons were released for the Compacts, and they were cheap, and they're gorgeous, and super high quality for the cheap price. I absolutely loved my collection, and I just, they're, they're wonderful. You know, they come from the Gachapons, which um, if you go to like Food Line or Walmart and you see the little quarter machines in the United States, that's basically what they're like. These came out of little machines in Japan in little capsules. They do have some defects. Every once in a while you'll get one with paint chips or just something that's like, ah. But again, for the cheap price, they're great collectible for any Sailor Moon fan. And they're definitely one of my favorites. Especially considering in the 90s I was never able to purchase any of the big compacts. So with the Proplica line and the Moonlight Memory Series and these little gachapons, I have been going crazy. I ordered the second set of Sailor Moon gachapons from J-List. I accidentally paid for slower shipping and not EMS, so they did take a little while to get here. But nonetheless, I'm super stoked. The second series includes different compacts than the first, but I anticipate that they will be just as nice. If you want some of the compacts, but you're just like, oh, I can't pay, you know, $50 to $100 for the Proplicas, these are a great alternative. This set from J-List was about, mm, I would say, $25 with shipping. So it's very affordable, you know, they are smaller than the Proplicas, but again, the quality is pretty great. So when I ordered the first set, they actually didn't come in their capsules, so it's kind of cool that these did. Um, I ordered my first set from Big Big Pfeiffer, I think that's what they were called, or something, something along those lines. It was a Canadian store, but this time around I was able to grab them from J-List. So I remember the first time around everyone was saying that the capsules we're very hard to open. Um, I find little gotcha capsules hard to open in general, but we shall see. Alrighty, so I got all the capsules open, which took a few minutes. Usually they only have one little clip you have to open, or at least the small ones I've gotten, they only have one clip, but this one had two. So a word of advice for anyone who gets these, don't just sit there pulling on one, you have to pull on them both at the same time. And this is what they look like once they're open. They have the plastic around the little toy and then the booklet showing all that is available in this line. So let's look at the booklet first, which is really cute. It has Sailor Moon and Chibi on it. It's the Capsule 2 series and by Bandai. And if we open it up, so for this line, there are some really great um, compacts included. We have the Eternal Moon Compact. We have another Cosmic Heart Compact, but this time it's red instead of pink, which is exciting, yay, yeah, because I like it also red. We have the Star Locket, the famous Star Locket. We have the Chibi Moons Compact, the Prism Moon Compact, and we have the little I want to say this is the one Sailor V uses. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the one that Sailor V uses. And I have no idea what all this says. I'm sure it's just information, warnings, it looks like a warning. You know, don't eat the compact, you guys. Be smart. Let's open the Cosmic Heart Compact first. This is the one I'm always excited about because this is my favorite compact. And here is the Cosmic Heart Compact. As you can see, it's so pretty and so shiny. That is just one thing I love about the Sailor Moon toys. They always make them so shiny and nice. And here it is compared to the one from the first line. It looks pretty much exactly the same. The only change is the coloring. And when you open it up, you can see the detailing of the heart in a little mirror and it does come with a covering over the mirror but I usually don't take my covering off just because I don't plan on using this and they open up so you could put candy in there, medicine, anything small that you need to carry in your purse which is really cute I think. Like I said I will never use these 
but that's a neat idea. And here is Chibi Moon's compact. Again, it's so beautiful. I love the detailing of the crystal. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it has the ridges on it, so it's really, it looks nice. If you feel it, it feels nice. It's just great quality, y'all. And again, you can see the detailing of the inside. I have seen a lot of people that paint these, that do custom paintings for these compacts, and they are usually expensive, but they do look nice. And here's the Star Locket. This is pretty much everyone's grail item, at least every Sailor Moon fan I know. And I mean, just look how shiny this thing is, you guys. It's amazing. This one was a little bit harder to open up, but this little flap here pops up, and you can see the moon and the crystal in there. And it looks like it has like a glitter background. It's so pretty. And it is, oh! The moon rotates. I did not know that. That is a really neat little detail. And the Eternal Compact, it does have to be put together. You can see the two wings here. And it's just so cool! So the Star Locket and the Eternal Compact are two I never owned in the 90s when they were originally released. And they were two I always wanted. So again, while these are tiny, as you can see, like they fit in my hand. They're very small. These are such good quality and so Oh, I just love them. I love them. These are probably one of my favorite new items released. They have little holes right here, which just pop in, so it's very easy to get them attached. And here's what the Eternal Compact looks with the wings attached. It is so nice. I really love the details on this one. So the details are small. They're small, but they're intricate, and it's just it's so nice. Oh, I didn't realize that it was actually colored. I figured it was colored up here on the little see-through plastic glass, but it's actually colored on the inside. So this looks stunning. I love the colors. I love the metallic effect, and it does open up like the others too. So you can open it up and you can store something in here, but this is just, this is great. I love these. Again, boring back, but who cares because the front is gorgeous. And last but not least, the Crescent Moon. Um, leave me a comment down below. Is this supposed to be Sailor V's or... I know that in a, the North America toy line, there was a Crescent Moon like this released and I'm drawing a blank. Is this supposed to be V's? I don't know. Either way, it's really cute. And it opens up to the little crystal on the inside. Again, I didn't realize that was on the inside. I thought it was attached on the outside, but that's really neat. That's a neat little detail. They do have the copyright information on the back. Uh, it's probably hard to see, but the TPT Bandai copyright that's on almost all Sailor Moon official merchandise, it is on the back of each of the compacts, which is good. So you know it's officially licensed and not a crappy bootleg. I don't usually keep my capsule, I usually give them to my dogs, but you know, these are these capsules are bigger than the keychain, the Sailor Moon swing sets come in, so these are nice. These would probably be nice to keep if you're a person that likes to keep things like this. So yeah, here is set one and two of the compacts. As you can see, there are quite a few of them now. I'm really hoping they release more in the future though. I'm just absolutely in love with this line. It's just cute. They're sh as you can see, they're shiny, they look great. They're small, so they don't take up as much room as some of the other Proplicas or Compacts. But they're just, I love them. They're, they're fun, and they're Sailor Moon. They're a great way to collect the Compacts and some of the items at a cheap price. So that's always a plus for me. So yeah, leave me a comment down below. Have you ordered this set? Are you a fan of Gotcha Machine toys? Let me know, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.